What's going on, everybody? Gideon from Mana Entertainment here. We're going to do a, a live playthrough, or not a live playthrough. We're going to do a playthrough of Resident Evil 2 Remake for the PC. I'm playing on Windows 7. Uh, yeah, I haven't upgraded yet, but Windows 7 with an Intel i7-4770 uh, processor, a GeForce GTX 1080 Ti video card, and about 64 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM. And I have an SSID. Um, I have a, a solid state hard drive for my operating system, but I'm running the, the, the game off my regular, um, my old school hard drive, 7200 RPM, because um, I don't have enough room on the Windows. I only have a 256 for the, for the operating system, 256 gigabyte. <coughs> so, Really quick, before I start this video, I want to apologize. I may be coughing a little bit. I'm still recovering from a sickness. Um, but I put my kids to bed. Uh, my wife, I chilled with her for a bit. And uh, now that we had our family time, it's time for a very adult game. This game is going to be very graphic. It's going to be very bloody. Uh, I have the graphics set to maximum on everything. One uh, quick FYI, I actually started recording... Uh, a video before this recording right now and I realized that the audio was not actually recording in the game So let's see how it goes this time. Hopefully I got it right. I'm still getting used to all of this stuff But yeah, Gideon from Man Entertainment. I'm gonna play with my reactions and stuff like that um, I'm not gonna play the, through the whole game So uh, I've gotten as far as um, I'll let you guys know when we're watching the video But I played the demo and now I'm gonna play um, I'm gonna play as Claire Redfield because on the demo I was Leon so here we go guys i hope you enjoy thank you for watching here's the mana entertainment intro start a new game because I had a save file from before none of the audio was there so I'm playing on standard mode <coughs> and uh, this control that I have uh, I got it free at GTC 2018 I believe it was last year oh, here we go. Last Friday night, I was walking home from the bar, and this woman started coming towards me. She was staggering, you know, so I, I figured she was drunk. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, tell us, be honest now, how many drinks did you have? No, man, I, I barely had a buzz on her. Oh, come on. Look, just listen, all right? Amazing she got closer, graphics. and I got a good look at her. You gotta see her, <coughs> her nose, her whole face. It looked like it was rotting. Yeah. She looked like a corpse. Like a walking corpse, man. If you're not 18 like years wife. old or older, you probably shouldn't watch this video, by the way. We normally do family videos, but it's going to stop. Okay, don't give in to fear out there, right? Yeah, well, you got that right. If you freeze up around these things, you'll sink to the teeth of them. I should have passed away. Oh, come on. It's just getting good. Yeah, I'm almost there. You know me, I'll be fine. 
Sounds good. I'll be back as soon as I find Chris. I will, but I gotta go. Why does everyone think I'm gonna get in trouble? Damn. Claire Redfield looks really okay. cool. I like her model because it reminds me of the Resident Evil Cool Veronica model. But wow. um, I like the update to her face. She looks a little bit more like Chris now, which is cool, being her si his sister and everything. Look at the graphics on this freaking game, guys. This is nuts. So, just to go quickly through it, make sure that all the settings are on the highest settings. The graphics. Yep. Looks like everything is on the highest possible settings. Max. Yeah, and I'm recording the gameplay itself with OBS. So, um, it should be 60 frames per second. So, hopefully, it'll look nice and as smooth as what I'm experiencing. And, um, the audio with the headphones is really good. I don't have any um, like very fancy headphones, but they're Sony. They're really good quality. Uh, you know, really good quantity quality. <laughs> yeah, they're really good quality. So um, it sounds crazy. It sounds really good. Hoping it translates for you guys. Hello. <coughs> Anybody here? the flashlight. Hello? Okay, some bloody footprints. That's never a good sign. This is really cool. I, I played the original Resident Evil 2. I think I played the, the one on PlayStation for a little bit at a friend's house, and then I played Resident Evil 2 64, which was a technical marvel at the time. I played that at um, my cousin's house, but I don't think I ever beat the game, so this is kind of new for me. The whole experience is rather on the new side, so. And I don't remember there being this gas station, so I'm already really liking this. This is really cool, guys. Are you okay? Wait here. I'll check it out. I need weapons. This is cool. Got some gasoline in case I need to light this place up. Maybe get a bottle, Claire. Headcrack a zombie if you have to. That volumetric fog. We did not have that back in the days of Resident Evil 2. That looks stupendous. Excuse me, is everything okay? Stay back, babe, I got this. through there. What about this guy? Of course, it wouldn't be video games if we didn't have some pervy stuff going on. I'm not gonna hate. Yeah. 
not ready for this. <laughs> Digging this, I love. I used to love this about the old Resident Evils. I could, I kind of see the items in 3D. That's pretty cool. Some answers at the police station. <coughs> Wait, you're a cop? Yeah, Leon Kennedy. You are? Claire. Claire Redfield. You live around here? No. I'm looking for my brother. He's a cop too. Well, it's a good thing we found each other. I don't know what to expect anymore. I love the demo and I'm loving this right now. This is way too cool. Takeuchi. He's worked on the best Resident Evils. Attention all citizens. Due to the citywide outbreak, you are advised to take shelter at the Raccoon City Police Station. <coughs> God, this is so unreal. The police station's not much farther. They'll know something. Yeah, but what if we're the only ones? What if there's no survivors? No, there's survivors. It's a big city. There has to be. I like how they kept Leon's model close to the original, which always looked like Leonardo DiCaprio to me. It's kind of funny. Like we're walking from here. The young Leo. Oh, damn it. More like running. Yeah, good call. Ah! <laughs> Shit. 
there, get out. Get out now! Crazy. The police station. Almost there. Oh my god. That was all in-game graphics. Scared the bejesus out of me, but look at her face. Look at the water reflecting off of her. This is crazy. I don't know if it looks as good on PS4 or Xbox One X. PS4 Pro or... Yeah, the Pro or the Xbox One X, but... Holy crap, it looks good. I don't remember this area in the demo. Looks like I'll be back here later. Look at the detail on these zombies, man. Crazy. Uh, the demo area. Not Claire. You should kind of do your own thing. Be safe. Ooh, deluxe weapons added. What's up with that? The Jill model or the Chris model? Stop to reduce catching and draw. I mean, it's Chris's sister, so I guess I'm gonna have to go with the Chris model. Nice. 
Now, like I was saying at the beginning of the video, I did um, go ahead and uh, I played before and I tried to uh, save the game, as you can see above. <coughs> but there was no audio, so this part I'm familiar with. I'm going to kind of try to rush through the parts that I already explored, so I apologize for that. But once I get to the fo to the room that you will see where... I'll let you know that I haven't played past there. In the demo I have, but not in the full game anyway. I'll let you guys know. Nice. Speed door, I remember that. This area was not in the demo. Oh, my vibrato. Green herb. Can't get enough of those. Welcome to Raccoon City. Did you know while we are home of pharmaceutical giant Umbrella Corporation, Raccoon City is a vibrant and dynamic city with a long, rich history of its own. In this guide, we'll introduce you to just a few more unusual points of interest our city has to offer. Raccoon City Police Station. The building in the center of the town wasn't always a police station. In fact, there used to be an art museum. Various features like the unusual clock tower and goddess statue in the main hall remind us of a bygone era. Orphanage. Just a few blocks from the police station is an orphanage found and run by Umbrella Corporation with the help of generous donations from businesses and citizens alike. The building is known for a stained glass window which attracts visitors from around the world. Cool. It turns a museum into a police station. Oh, I'll crack it. Nah, no, I'm just kidding. I don't know how to crack it. I am really, really impressed by the graphics of this game. It even looks better than the demo, which I was already impressed with that. The lighting is bonkers. Like that bloom effect too up there. Let's get ready for some survival horror action right now. You guys don't mind, I'm gonna kind of rush through because I know what to do for this part because Focus of the quiet. demo. Focus. Oh, cool little details though. I don't remember this being here. that I don't have to tap it a bunch of times. I'm okay with just holding the button.
Oh, cool. I don't remember that light flickering. We don't have reflections here, but hey, can't be perfect. It's awesome, nonetheless. The thing that's crazy to me is, and I don't know if it's because I'm playing it on PC or not, but it looks like the graphics are almost as good as the Resident Evil 1 remake, which was pre-rendered, you know, backgrounds. This is oh, full-on oh 3D. God. Turn, babe. Thanks. Obviously, someone taught you well. Yeah, I know how to take care of myself. Come on. Bloody infected hand. <clears throat> Pre-zombie hand. I wouldn't shake that. So nobody knows what caused this. There's a lot of theories. But all I know for sure is that this place is crawling with zombies. Yeah, you're telling me. <coughs> hey, hey, keep that on. Just in case. I'm not gonna be around long. Once I find Chris, we're out of here. You really Chris's sister? Yeah. Why? Did you find something? He's on vacation. Europe, I think. Left weeks ago. Vacation? 
That's... that's great news. Well, I've got more for you. Looks like there might be a way out through this secret passageway. Good. <gasps> hey. Uh, hey, we should probably get you to a hospital. Oh, 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 forget about me. I can take care of myself. No. Don't be ridiculous. You're gonna need some help. Listen, <coughs> <Claire. coughs> Yourself. <coughs> so you can see your brother again. Now, you'll probably need this. No, I'm not taking that. You're going to... And be careful. If you see one of those things, no matter who they were, you can't hesitate. Take them out if you can. Or you run. <laughs> This one's easier this time than Leon's version. Lion, planting, and bird. thing in old Resident Evil so you would check to see if there was something hidden on an item. So Elliot was right. Yeah, but we're not out of here yet. Like I'm gonna put away the standard gun just because I think because I pre-ordered it and I got 20% off from um, the people I pre-ordered it from, which I can't seem to remember off the top of my head. Uh, I think that's why I got this cool, uh, you know, gun and stuff. But um, I'm gonna put everything away so I can. I get a little OCD, so I want it to look nice. Save spray. Combat knife. gas station storage room. I don't think I'll be needing that anytime soon. Oh, hey, there's a first aid spray here? Where? I really like that in this game. Like, it tells you if there's something that, you know, is important on the map, like fuse box, tape box, the goddess statue. That's really cool. There it goes. Wow, this whole time that was there, I didn't even know. Let's put it in for later, though.
Just so impressed by the graphics of this game. You have a knife now, Claire. Well, I could be grabbing this dude's head with your bare hands. Bashing it up. I don't like open windows. Oh, no sir. Oh. Seriously. Damn, I am unloading on this girl. is in session some bullets <sighs> step is ready for, for tuning the station into a temporary shelter due to massive sudden outbreak all police personnel have been instructed to make the safety of the citizens their top priority to try to accommodate as many as possible Wow, I gotta skip this part. <coughs> cool. There we go. Make sure you're dead. Okay, you seem pretty dead to me. One thing I learned the hard way in the demo is your knife has a, a life bar, so be careful when you're playing. Don't get too knife happy. This guy's going to be like that. Say hello to my little knife. Oh, you're still alive. Oh, you're still alive. Where are you going, buddy? You bastard! You killed Kenny! You bastard! Just had a Kyle and Stan kind of moment. How's, how's my life doing? 
better chill with the knife, but I use it to make sure everybody's nice and dead. Oh. Goodness, that that really took some life out of the out of the knife. Come probably have Sue's handgun. Acid run for her and submachine gun. Oh, cool. Okay, got a lot of ammo left around the station, so make use of any powder. Different guns require different ammo, so pay attention when you're combining things, or you you won't get what you need. Fourteen bullets. Better make them count. Yeah, that guy's alive. What the hell? Ooh. Nice. You're coming back from that one. The classic critical hit. In old school Resident Evils. It's not just me and three others. No weapons, no ammo, too many skirmishes have trained us mentally and physically. We're not going to make it. Officer Phillips once suggested we escape through the through the sewers. Apparently, there's a secret tunnel under this place left over from the museum days. I first tried the off before, but now it's not sounding all bad. And there's no proof that there's even a tunnel or that the sewers are infested with zombies, but I don't want to sit here to die either. It's a long shot, but I'm going to try to find out what I can about this tunnel. Elliot Edward. assignment. We yeah, ask Kenny, you were putting on a very special case for your first assignment. Your mission is to unlock your desk. Key to your success is the initials of our of our first names. Input the letters in order of our desk. There are two locks, one at each side of your desk. Make sure you get them both. Basically, your first task is to make sure you get your fellow officers' names, but you figured that much out, right? Good luck, Leon. By the way, my take a little while to get Scott to give you a straight answer. Initials of our first names. Actually didn't get that puzzle the first time.
Oh, she doesn't have the card like Leon did. 109 and 106. I don't have access to 3 or 2, so... This is essentially where I left off on my first playthrough. Relax, zombie boy. evidence do not leave out. Commemorative. looks a little bit purple so this is as far I think I said it already but this is as far as I got on my previous run where I didn't have the audio recording about 31 minutes in I'm probably gonna try to keep the video under an hour and um, yeah let's see how that goes faster it is. It's faster, but it ain't that fast. I'll keep this gun in here for safekeeping. There we go. Got some room now. Let's save over my first. Knife, it's bloody. Crazy, crazy details. Ooh. 
Whoa. Ah. Hopefully he killed himself. No, I, I ain't got time for you, man. She's dead. Oh, another red herb. Guess I'll take it. Press the button to light up its corresponding lamp, light them all up to open the safe. The buttons must be pressed in a certain order. Pressing a single button out of order will cause all the lights to go out. You will need to start the sequence all over again. Portable safe. Looks like a key. There's nothing written on it. Oh, oh. have to go back. Is 
build that or an up thing. Use it in the two. Two or eight, six, or eight. Okay, there you go. Oh, nine pounds. Doesn't look like I can take the button out and replace it with a three, huh? Uh, I need one more key for that. What about this room? It's a locked door. Okay, that guy is at the place for now. save, I don't want to lose all that progress. <coughs> oh! I knew that guy was there, but it still scared me. She's not Jill. Jill's the master of unlocking. She could have unlocked all of those things. I love Claire, but she ain't the master of unlocking, that's for sure. Keep it under an hour, but I think I'm gonna try to get to at least the next save point. I'm 
might need something though. We'll leave it there for now. The jump scares in this game are serious, man. So I know he's not alive. Why did I waste the ammo? Because zombies. Gotta be sure. Combine that with the match. Blow it up. C4. Damn those corporate a-holes, they cut me off after all I've done for them, but if this is how it's gonna be, so be it. I'm gonna have a little fun of my own as the world goes to crap. I boarded all those filthy pigs up in a steel pen and get some C4. All I gotta do is detonate it and say sayonara suckers. But it's no fun if it's over too soon, so maybe I'll give that one baby moon something to really squeal about. Yeah, maybe I'll give him a little toy and tell him, look at this, just right back. What do it'll do? You yell about justice and pride, but how often did you go against me, your own superior? Yeah, you're such a good cop, so good you had to die. Man, is this fun? I need some music for this. Psycho. Oh, sweet. Okay, now I can take that thing. Central zombies in there, but they can't get to me, so I'm okay. good. Let's get that board now that I have room. something to show you. It's important. All right, I'm on my way. No, 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 no. Come on, what are you thinking? Damn, super critical. Nice. We're clipping there, but that's okay. Oh, you're not dead. You will be. God damn it. Yeah. And I'm getting some good shots now. My god, this game is so awesome, man. I love that there's like different damage to, you know, like different parts of the zombies, and you can still get criticals and stuff like that. This one has to go. you are how about now now you look dead oh there's another dude over there he's dead looks pretty safe Ooh, my 
Life is about to break. Everything you say to me. Guess we must step closer to the edge. And I'm about to break. On top of a dead zombie. Why not? Of the puzzle isn't gonna work without that tool for whatever reason. It's a video game. You should be able to jump that, but it's a game, you know, you gotta find stuff. Always been the formula of Resident Evil, a little uh, Metroidvania-ish. That's not a problem, that's a cool thing. Let's see, as far as the map goes. Explosive barricade, okay, that's where I just was. Oh wait, there was a gunpowder in there? I don't know if I can get it. Ah, there it goes. Got it. Got some space now. Got a lot more ammo. Powder after all. Oh, nice. Stars office, nice. I'm a member of stars. <coughs> oh wait, this is the unicorn. Fish, scorpion, and water jug. I'm thinking that's supposed to be Pisces, Scorpio, and Aquarius, maybe? There's the jug. Hey, it's a jug, Mana Entertainment, guys. It's like Mana Entertainment. There you go. Shameless plug. Oops. This is where the Here demo ended. Come here. What is it? With Liam. Take a look. Oh my god, he made it! 
You know him? Yeah, it's Leon. Uh, Kennedy, I think? Oh, uh, the rookie. <coughs> Thought he looked familiar. You can make it to that courtyard. The second floor, east side. Okay. Thanks, Marvin. I'm on it. Thanks for playing the demo. This is exactly where the demo ended. Except I was playing as Leon on the demo. Alright guys, so I'm going to save here. And this is going to be the end of my playthrough for now. If you guys like this video, if you want to see more of it, I'll make some more. And I'll continue playing with you guys soon. But I do got to catch catch some sleep. So just want to thank you all for um, for checking this out. It's Gideon from Mana Entertainment. Um, guys, it was a pleasure playing with you. I'll show you the whole game. But for those who don't want any spoilers, I'll end the video now. This is exactly where the demo like left off. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. I know there's a lot of graphic uh, intense scenes, but this game is pretty awesome. I'll do a review. Whether I do another playthrough video or not is up to you guys in the comments if you let me know if you want to see it. And, you know, in social media and stuff, if people tell me they want to see another playthrough. But if not, I'll just, um, you know, finish playing myself. And then when I'm done, I'll do a review on the game. Uh, I'm always, you know, I'll do an honest review. And I'm still trying to figure out what works on this channel, so... You know, bear with me in the meantime, and uh, whatever you guys like, let me know so I can do more of it. So, this is Gideon from Mana Entertainment. Have a good one, guys. Peace. <laughs>